What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. All right guys, we got a special one here because a lot of you have been asking the questions, what are the best units and teams to use against the Giant Arachnid and Cerberus? So I'm gonna do a full breakdown for you guys on the best teams, some alternative teams, and the best units to use for each of these fights. And then I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay. Now keep in mind, this is my pay to win account. I have done this on my free to play account. I just am logging in because I gotta do this, but I'm gonna break it down for you guys from the unit perspective and what you can use early on versus what you can use at the end. Okay, so let's talk first off about the ultimate units for each of these modes. So for the giant arachnid, it's pretty straightforward. Cha is the ultimate unit for this mode. And the reason why Cha is the ultimate unit for this mode is because the arachnid does something very, very frustrating. And that is certain points of the bars of health that it loses, it eventually decides to go ahead up there and heal. So you can't stop this unless you do the unrecoverable move that Cha has. Now, if we were to use Jinnu, we could obviously have other methods of doing unrecoverable, such as the Kasaka Blades, but because this is a hunter level only, Cha does make this into mincemeat, and I'm talking about super fast. So the way this works is you want to break enough bars, and right before the opponent goes up, switch over to Cha, do the skill one or skill two move, which eventually does unrecoverable and lasts for 30 seconds. Now, if you do it too early, you can also lose that while the opponent's up there. Now you can tell it's doing unrecoverable because on the bottom of the screen while they're on the top, you can see a little bit of a, a cross, a red cross happening, and that means that it is in fact becoming unrecoverable and the spider does not get any HP. Just to make it easier for you guys, I was able to clear tier five with my free to play account. It's 104K power, I was a 55K power using Cha. So she is the ultimate unit for this fight. Straightforward, all right? Now the best teams to use here are gonna be easy. You wanna use three light units if you can, or you can use two. The best possible units to use here are, like I mentioned, is gonna be Cha, Min, and Back. So if you can use the following team here, if you have them, Min, Back, and Cha, you're cooking. And the reason why this works so well is Min will do punishment, which will allow you to do 15% more damage on the spider, and then you wanna swap out even not even without even doing his ultimate you don't have to he also gives power gauge up to your uh unit so you guys can get your ultimates faster back is here to do defense down plus break and then cha is here to just dps her heart out and do unrecoverable now if you use these two teams together or these units together i'll show you guys how this works okay so we're going to go ahead and jump in and i'll show you guys a quick little battle formation on how to get this done now i could do this with cha by herself to be honest but i gotta show you guys the rotation right so you go in here the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do your skill two which will do punishment bring in your shadows and then swap over to back okay now back's job here is to simply do defense down and break okay so if you guys can break you're golden right remember now beck does break with his basic attacks and his skill so you have two different ways of breaking so there's a break right there then you bring in cha she will do branded to do more damage and then here before the spider goes up you want to do unrecoverable see i missed it there now watch the spider's going to recover look he's going to come go back up and he's going to recover so do too much damage so 49 percent is when he goes out 49 health bars let me, let me retry this again and this time we're going to bring her in a little early and i'll show you the difference what happens when you bring her with the unrecoverable option okay so we're going to we're not going to break completely we're just going to bring chai in before that happens okay there's back right there now remember you can do evasion as well to avoid that from happening as well so there you guys go actually we'll, we'll probably still be able to break here okay and bring cha in really quick now before the spider goes up pull this off there you go now look you guys can see there's an unrecoverable uh, uh, buff on the boss now look do you see the little crosses i'm talking about right there you can see it on the floor right there right see it shows a little arrow across that that means the boss boss is trying to heal but is not getting any heals off now i could have finished this before the boss even went up by doing my moves with cha but I'm just trying to show you guys how the debuffs work, okay? Now look, when the boss comes down, only eight late left. You can just pretty much simply kill him off with chop. Now you can even do this faster, right? Keep in mind, my it, my trophies are three stars here, so I'm doing 50% more damage. But essentially, that's how it works. You want to make sure that Cha comes in there, uses her unrecoverable. Every time the spider goes up, you can completely avoid the whole recovery process. It just takes a little bit of your time because I think it stays up there for about 10 seconds or more, okay? So there you guys go. That is tier 10 completion. This is probably the best team. Now, a couple alternative options to this team. Very straightforward alternatives. I'll give you guys a couple options right now before I go into Cerberus. Let me just go back into this right here. So 
If you don't have Beck, Gino is an incredible breaker. Use him instead, okay? So if you don't have Beck, he's going to be an amazing option here to use because of the fact he's one of the best breakers in the game, okay? If you guys don't have Min, that's fine as well too. You guys can actually end up using two different units here. One being Libora. I know even though the opponent is strong against against this you still want the 50 percent extra damage for for cha so that she does charmed so by bringing her in you can do 15 percent more damage on that opponent by using this and also the beauty here is she does debuff, debuff zones with her dark circles and what that does is that removes the bleed problem that you have so the debuff zones with the dark circle sit in will nullify all the bleed so very very good option there and another great option here is going to be choi choi is incredible here because he does defense down giving cha the option to hit way way harder plus he himself is a massive nuker making the spider boss that much easier okay so those are some of the good options there another good option if you want to use is going to be nam if you want to freeze the opponent before they go up so you can get your unrecoverable off she's great for that and also uh kashik here if you want to do bleeds and as well as um Still remain back. Now, the only reason why they're in here, again, is for the bleeds, okay? Nothing to do with their damage because, again, the opponent causes 50% less damage on dark units, but their bleed is worthwhile bringing in. And then lastly, uh, if you want to do ultimates more a little bit faster, and I use her all the time as Park Heejin, she will increase your output for power gauge, which is increasing your ultimate gauge, and also she can do a debuff removal on the poisons or in lethargy every time you have it making you hit way faster and avoid that extra damage okay so there's a, those are some good options there for the spider boss i just want to point that out but this for sure will be one of the best teams including if you bring in if you're moving for example min or bring in choi for more defense down that's an option as well too all right so there you guys go now let's move over to the servers teams so saw is the best service unit in the game there's nobody that goes near her until Alicia comes out. So this is what it's going to look like for Serbia, okay, for me. Let me just go my Serb team. Here it is. So it's Min, Shadow Main Beck, and Saw. Now, you can take away Shadow Main Beck and put in Kang if you want as an option. And now the fact that we have Cha out, Cha is going to be the next best unit. So you can actually remove SM Beck completely from that for the bleed and just put in Cha here as your best unit and then bring in Saw here as your main DPS with Cha, okay, so here's how it's gonna look. This is the team. Again, Lee Boro can easily take over Min's spot for that extra 15% damage. As a matter of fact, you can even bring in SM Beck or Tashik for bleed if you want to do that. Or quite honestly, you can bring him back for defense down. All three of those work out, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys uh this team here. Let's go with Min, Saw, and Cha. Let's go in there. Now keep in mind again, my this is a three-star trophy one. My damage is gonna be a little bit higher, but same scenario. You start off with punishment here do a perfect evasion right watch this so we'll do evasion perfect bring in your next unit there's saw now you want to use her until you can actually break the opponent okay now remember with her she can spam her skills practically every single second as long as her training is up so you guys can see my skills barely ever go down here and i'm constantly just spamming now what you want to do ideally is you want to break him now i'll break him a little quicker or i'll, I'll get him to this state a little quicker because of the fact that again that it's it's a it's a three-star trophy but we're going to show you guys nonetheless how it's going to work out. And you can see that shield here helps avoid all this extra damage that they would normally do on you. There's the break. Right now I can do the alt here, bring Cha in. And Cha will do branded and then finish off the fight pretty much pretty quickly. And oh, well, just, just literally missed it by a second. Yeah, by a hair. It's okay, we'll get it right now. There you guys go. All right, so that team right there will destroy this fight all right so again min in for buffing now if you don't have the three star trophy the rotation is a little different you want to bring min in for the buffs obviously and the punishment go into saw make sure that she does as much damage as possible with the breaks and then when you see the breath phase which was just about to happen the the timer is one two two and a half and then you dodge in the direction that you want to go now remember he does follow you with it so you will have to dodge twice to maneuver around it and go all the way behind Cerberus and just attack from behind that way you'll never get that flame to hit you a lot of people are confused about Cerberus and how it works every time Cerberus hits you it builds one of the flames that are in the middle of the screen the moment it hits five flames your entire team takes massive aoe damage sometimes it'll kill them most of the time it'll kill them sometimes one of one or two of them will survive if they're tankier units but for the most part you want to completely avoid that as much as you possibly can all right guys there you guys go those are the best teams now let's talk a little bit about some optional replacements here if you don't have some of these units right just like we do with Cerberus. so or, or we did with arachnid let me just go back to my team here let's go to team management and I'll show you guys right here. So let's go to my Serb team. Where is my Serb team? Serb team. Uh, where are you? 
Lycan, Dark Team. Again, for some reason, it's this team. Okay, so this was the, the original team I mentioned to you guys, right? Min, right here, or whatever order you want to go in, this and this. So, good options to replace. Again, I, I did tell you guys about Lee Bora, right? So you guys can put her in there. For Saw, if you don't have Saw in, Nam is a great option. Nam will also break and do great DPS, plus has the option of freeze. For free-to-play players, she's an incredible, incredible unit. I've, I've done a full showcase on her. Go check it out. But she's a great option to use as well, too. And another really good unit here to use is Anna Ruiz, who does poisons and will also do uh, break damage. So these two together are an incredibly good combo for free-to-play players if you don't have any of the SSRs. Another really good option here is going to be Lim. Lim does break and does insane amounts of damage, uh, plus has great maneuver abilities, so you can definitely put him in if you need another breaker. Uh, like I mentioned to you, Beck is incredible for this because of the fact that he has the ability to break with every move and does do defense down. Uh, and then the one other one you want to avoid here, you don't want to do Choi because of course it does 50% less on fire. Uh, and then M also does 50% on fire. But uh, SM Beck is great here. Tashik is really good here. And then believe it or not, Joe He is actually not a bad option either if you're looking for a little bit of a mana battery. Um, but I, uh, nonetheless, the units that I'm mentioning right here are going to be your best ones uh, for even actually I forgot about a song she got she got buffers now she's actually not a bad free-to-play unit as well so if you're looking for just free-to-play units that are srs these three here will dominate very early on and it can kill Cerberus fairly easily for you until about tier five or six ish and then you want to start going up uh, with some of the more advanced class units in the game all right guys this is pain hope you enjoyed the video i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care